What's going on guys? It is your boy Mr. Noland here. All right, today is going to be a very fun day. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to multiply fractions. Ah, right, let's see if I can share my screen. Hopefully it works and it stops. Let me try it one more time. Share it one more time. All right, so here we go. Now, the first thing I'm going to ask you when multiplying fractions, how do you turn a whole number into a fraction? Well, easy. To turn a whole number into a fraction, you just put it over 1. Isn't 3 over 1 just the same as 3? Well, yes, it is. So we answered the first question. How do you turn a whole number into a fraction? You just put the whole number over 1. Now, when you multiply fractions, you just multiply straight across. So this is like three times one over one times four. Three times one is three. One times four is four. Can three fourths be simplified? Nope, you're done. That easy. Let's check out the next one. I have a whole number turned to a fraction by putting it over one. Now multiply straight across, so that's like two times six over three times one. Well, two times six, that's 12. Three times one is three. Can 12 over three be simplified? Well, yes, 12 divided by three is just so guys, if you can simplify your answer, you're going to have to simplify it. All right, there's that one. Now comes to the harder ones. How do you convert a mixed fraction into an improper fraction? Now, some teachers do something called like the Texas two-step. I don't do that. I do something called the check mark. because we have to go down first. When you go down, you multiply. You then take that answer and you add the number up. So three times four is 12. So right here, here's my check mark. Times, then you add. Three times four is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13, and you put that over your denominator. The denominator will not change. That's it. There's the check mark. Let's try it again. So, again, when you go down, you multiply. When you go up, you add. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 plus 2 is 27. Denominator stays the same. That's it. That's how you convert a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Mr. Noland, what's an improper fraction? An improper fraction is when your numerator is larger than your denominator. Again, top number is larger than the bottom number. All right. Now let's see, how do you multiply fractions like we did up top? You just multiply straight across. 2 times 3 over 5 times 7. 2 times 3 is 6. 5 times 7 is 35. Can that be simplified? Well, what multiplies to give you 6 besides 1 times 6? 2 times 3, right? Well, 2 can go into 6, but can 2 go into 35 evenly? No. 3 can go into 6, but can 3 go into 35 evenly? No. So there's no common factors here. So this is your answer. It cannot be simplified. All right. I'm going to rewrite this next one on a new page so we have a little bit more space. So we had 2 and 4 fifths.
times 6. All right. First thing is, let's do the check mark. Multiply, then add. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 14 over 5. Next thing, we need to convert the whole number to a fraction by putting it over 1. Let's see if we can multiply straight across. So that's 14 times 6 over 5 times 1. Well, let's see. 14 times 6. I'm going to do that off to the side. 6 times 4 is 24. Carry over the 2. 6 times 1 is 6. Plus 2 is 8. So you have 84 over 5. Now, guys, if you can give us this answer, we're going to give you some partial credit. If your answer is an improper fraction like it is here, we want you to convert it back to a mixed fraction. So how do you convert the improper back into a mixed? Well, how many times can the denominator go into the numerator? So how many times can 5 go into 84 evenly? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 80, oh, 85 is too much, so it's going to go in there 16 times. Well, 16 times 5 is 80, so if I had 84 and I spent 80 of it, that means I have 4 remaining over 5. Okay, like, that's kind of hard. It's not that bad. Once you get used to it, it's not that bad. All right, let's do one more. See what you got. Let's do four sevenths times. Oh, let's see. What's a good number? I'm going to rewrite this one. Let's do this. Let's do two thirds times. Uh, five, six. Okay, now multiply straight across. So that's two times five over three times six. Well, two times five is 10. Three times six is 18. Now, if you notice, they are both even numbers, which means they are both divisible by two. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 18 divided by 2 is 9. You now simplified your answer. That's what we're looking for. All right, guys, I hope this video helps on multiplying fractions. I'll talk to you all soon. <laughs> Bye.